Hey guys, Brent here with TheDroidDemos.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to root the Galaxy Nexus, uh, both the GSM and CDMA versions, using the GNX Root Toolkit. Uh, it's really simple, but I just wanted to run you through uh, each step, uh, step by step exactly, so you have uh, a clear uh, display of what you guys need to do to root your Nexus. Uh, so just download the Root Toolkit, uh, it's going to look like this, and we can go ahead and double click on this to run it, and click run, and it's going to extract everything, and then open up the program right away. Uh, so click yes, and here we are in the root toolkit. The first thing that we want to do is install the drivers. So you can do that by just clicking uh, drivers right here. Make sure you have your phone unplugged. So I'm going to unplug mine right now. And then we can continue by clicking OK. Alright. And now it's going to just run through the uh, driver install right there. Alright, so now it's popped up. Uh, it's just going to make sure that there are no old drivers installed. So it says uh, we're going to look for 18D1 or 04E8 on this next screen. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that just to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and click 1 to uh, launch this. And look for uh, 04E8 under the vendor ID and there's none there no 04E8 and 1AD1 uh, there's one there so I'm just going to right click and click uninstall selected devices so if you saw any others make sure you click those as well I'm going to go ahead and unclick or uninstall that make sure I got nothing else I don't so I can go ahead and X uh, close that out come back here and hit any key to continue Alright, now it says it's going to run a script that will automatically configure the drivers for us. So we can go ahead and click any key to continue. And go ahead and click a key again. Now it says enable USB debugging on your phone. So if we go back to the device and we go to our settings, drag down from the notification bar, click the settings button, and go all the way down to developer options. Here, uh, make sure that you have USB debugging checked off. I already have it due, but if you don't, just check it off and click OK. Now we can plug in our device and connect it to the computer. There we go. And back here on the computer, we can go ahead and click any key to continue. Now it's starting it up. It's going to uh, try to check for ADB. It says, do you see your device listed here? I don't. Uh, probably the reason it uh, did that was because I uh, hit any key before it was able to connect right away. But it says, do you see it? Yes, I see an ADB device, AD, ADB device, or no, I don't see it. I don't. I'm just going to go ahead and click 2 so I can go through and refresh it, and it'll probably show up as soon as I come back to this. Um, it's just going to say make sure you have it plugged in via USB and that you have USB debugging enabled. I do, so I'm going to go ahead and click 1 to refresh. And there you see I have my device uh, listed right here now. So I can go ahead and click 1 to continue on. And it's now rebooting into the bootloader. It's going to check uh, that we have fast boot access. It says do you see any fast boot device, device listed above? Again, no I don't. I'm going to go ahead and click Two, and it's going to give me some reminders here. Your fastboot drivers are most likely not configured. Uh, you need to manually configure them in the device manager. Uh, so those are just going to give instructions on how to enable the fastboot um, uh, configure the drivers. So we can just go down here and get uh, dev run device manager. So just click your start button, type in device manager. Hit enter to select it, um, and we're looking for uh, Android 1.0 device, 
uh, probably is going to be right here. I think it's already installed, but we just go ahead and click right click and update driver software, click browse my computer for driver software, and then bra uh, direct it to this uh, file. It's on your C drive. Uh, go to WUG's uh, GeneX root toolkit slash data slash driver, as you can see here, under the C drive. Just go there, data, drivers. Select it, OK, and we can go ahead and click Next and it will automatically just install it for us. Again, it says the, uh, it's already installed for me. Click Close. Close out of this, come back here, and hit any key con to continue. There I see I have my device here. Probably just needed a little time to connect, but that's the instructions on how to enable, uh, or how to configure the drivers on your own if they did, weren't able to be configured through the app. Uh, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click one. Yes, I see the device. All right. It says it's rebooting the device uh, with Fastboot. If everything is all set up and good to go, you can press any key to exit this script. Uh, so now we have our drivers all set up. Um, now we are ready to uh, continue. All right, so now once the device is booted up, we can continue on. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do when we root our device is unlock it. Uh, so we can do that by just clicking the unlock button right here. Uh, it says it's going to unlock our device, enabling us to root it, root it and gain full access. Um, again, uh, make this perfectly clear. It's going to do a factor reset on your phone. It's going to erase everything, not just your apps and the system, but also anything on the internal storage. So if you have anything that you are going to miss, make sure that you back it up before you continue because it will be erased. So on your device, make sure that you have uh, USB debugging enabled uh, in your settings. should already be. Developer options and USB debugging checked off. Make sure that is uh, enabled and plug it into your computer if you for some reason disconnected it uh, and hit any key to continue. It's going to check, make sure that it still has access to the device. It does. I'm going to go ahead and click one. Yes, I see the device. And it's going to boot into the bootloader so that we can go through the unlock process. It's very simple. Um, uh, as you can see here, check make sure it has fast boot access. One, yes it does. Uh, it says you should now see a screen titled Unlock Bootloader. We're going to use the volume button to select yes, unlock bootloader. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the volume up button uh, so that yes is highlighted and hit the power button to select it. All right, so now that is complete, and we can go ahead and click any key to continue. Uh, now that the device is uh, unlocked, it's rebooting, and as soon as it's finished booting up, we can go ahead and continue with the root process. All right, so that took a little while, uh, but once your device is uh, booted up, we can continue. Uh, so let's just skip through the uh, setup of our device. And next, not now, next, 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 and finish. So now we're into the device and we can continue on. So go ahead and uh, click the root button on the program and it says this will root your device. Um, after you're rooted and booted back up it will in, uh, ensure Clockwork Mod is uh, installed. Um, so again make sure that you've already run the uh, unlock portion and now we're going to enable USB debugging on the device. So again drag down from the notification bar and go to the settings, down to developer options, and check off USB debugging. 
make sure that your device is plugged into the computer and we can go ahead and click any key to continue. Now it's going to make sure that it has uh, ADB access right now. Uh, I see the device here so I'm going to go ahead and click 1. Yes, I see the device and enter. And now it's pushing the root file onto the device and uh, rebooting into the bootloader. Um, now it's checking that I have fast boot access. I see the device here so I'm going to go ahead and click 1. Yes and enter. Sent the recovery and wrote that and now I can click any key con to continue again. Uh, now it says, uh, make sure that you read these instructions. It says, for the following instructions, navigate with the volume keys on your device. Switch from the big green start to the red recovery. So we can do that here. Go to recovery mode. Let it boot into that and then we're going to install the root file that it sent. So in recovery, we're going to go down, use the volume keys to go down to install zip from SD card. So a little touchy, so just that. And there we go, install zip from SD card. Hit the power button to select it. And we hit the power button again for choose zip from SD card. And we're going to select the su.zip file that it has on the device. So there we have it at the bottom. Hit the power button to select it. Go down to yes, install su.zip. And hit the power button to select that. And let it install that. Should say install from SD card complete. And then we can go back and we're going to select Reboot System now. And just let it uh, boot back up. Make sure that you leave it connected and that USB debugging is still in it enabled. Alright, so we're booted up. Uh, just make sure that USB debugging is enabled. Uh, I drag down, it says USB debugging is connected, so we're good. If it's not, make sure you go into Developer Options and enab enable it. Uh, back on the program, we can go ahead and click any key to continue. And now it's going to make a clockwork mod uh, permanent. So uh, click any key to continue and it's going to run the script that will uh, rename, I believe, rename this file so that uh, clockwork mod is permanent. Alright, so once it's complete, just hit enter and it says now install ROM manager from the market so that you have it uh, to reflash uh, have it reflash recovery for you uh, and then use ROM manager to make your first clean stock backup. Uh, that's it and we are rooted. Uh, again all you have to do is go to the market um, and search for ROM manager install it uh, and uh, you want to flash recovery. So we go to market, I have to sign in, alright. Uh, once you're in the market and all signed in, I'm going to search for ROM manager, there we have it, ROM manager, going to go ahead and click install, accept and download. Alright and then we'll go ahead and open it up and once it's open we can go ahead and click OK and then click flash clockwork mod recovery just tap that at the top confirm which device you have, I have the CDMA device so I'm going to click that uh, just click OK and it's going to flash the recovery and click allow for super user and there we have it, successfully flashed Clockwork Mod Recovery. So this will allow you to uh, make backups of your phone uh, that you can um, restore in the future. Uh, you can also download ROMs if you have ROM Manager Premium. Great app, check it out. Uh, and just, ad I definitely advise you to make a backup of your phone uh, in case anything goes wrong. Uh, again, this was the... Uh, tutorial for how to root your Galaxy Nexus 
um, with the GeneX Root Toolkit. Uh, thanks to Wugfresh for making this. Uh, again, this is Brent from thejoydemos.com. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.